do this at this level. This is the biggest fight of his career, and I gave it to him. Mm. You know, he should be thanking me. This is the biggest payday. Otherwise, he would have just been cut by the UFC and then just left on the sidelines. So he, honestly, honestly, he should be thanking me, but it is what it is. He wouldn't take the bet. Y'all all saw it. Y'all all got it on camera. I said I'll pay double your purse if you beat me. But if you lose, you have to pay your purse to my charity. Is that because he lacks confidence? He lacks confidence. I mean, why wouldn't you take that bet as a fighter if you knew you were going to win? To make double the money? This is, By the way, this is the biggest payday of his life, and he can make double that if he took the bet. So I, put, put your money where your mouth is. Put your money where your mouth is. I get to hold the when mic. Fight, yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm famous now. Showtime. I'm famous now. I get a mic. <laughs> you, feel like, you feel like you finally get credit for, for finding this? Tell him the bet, Jake. Tell him the bet. Look, uh... You know, he, he's a good striker. He's known for knocking people out. I think when I beat Tyrone, people have to put more respect in my name. But that's not what I'm here for, to be honest. Like, I already know how good I am. I already know that this is going to be another easy fight. Showtime knows how good I am. And, right. <laughs> and, and that's why Showtime's in, in business with me, because they, they know. They, they, you're looking at the future of boxing. Some people will say it's cocky, arrogant, but I'm just doing my thing, and I work hard, and it pays off. Did Showtime reach out to you to make that deal? Say, say it again. Did Showtime reach out to you to make that deal? Uh, it was like a mutual thing, you know? The, 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 that's what it is. Tell us about one more time. Well, I already said it like a hundred times. <laughs> <laughs> what up, bro? Why you gotta leak the fight on us, bro? Uh, <laughs> he le- this is the guy that leaked it. He leaked it. I was trying to get the announcement. You got, you got, you got two bites of the cookie. Yeah, true. You got, you got turned it twice because of that. True, so. true, true. You're right. You. You're right, you're right. But, look, man, you. everyone's saying... <laughs> Everyone's saying that Tyrone's a lot, Tyrone's a lot better than Aspen. Do you think so? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, a hundred percent. But like, again, he's not as good as me, and he's playing catch up. He's got eighty-six days. You know, August twenty-eighth is the date. He's got eighty-six days from now to try to unlearn all those bad habits. We see holes in his whole entire game, and to try and learn how to box. He's stiff. Muscles don't fight, and he's going to be out of his whole element. This is boxing. This is an MMA, my friend, and you can't learn how to box in, in 86 days. And that will show him the ring. And the Disney kid is going to beat up the five-time UFC champion of the world, the Hall of Famer, and it's going to be hilarious. You need a better fight to show what you can do. That means you're going to show us more of what you can do to get a better fight. Exactly. I haven't even shown my fighting abilities at all. I haven't even made it past two rounds in my professional career. I haven't been hit in the face. No one can even see if I, if I got a chin. No one can see my inside fighting game. I haven't even gotten warmed up. And by the way, I'm the type of fighter that gets better in the third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh round. I get better in sparring. And so I really haven't even been able to warm up, lace up, get hit. Like I'm, I'm excited to really show off my ability. If he can even make it make it out of the first round. I was training today, and I swear to God, like I, I, I think by now people have to see like I don't cap. I predicted every single one of my fights. I said Ben Askren first round. I said Nate Robinson first round. He got to the second. I said my first pro fight first round. I don't think Tyrone can make it out of two rounds. So you might not even see my my boxing ability in this fight, to be honest. Why is he too if you have to the last one? Um, I, I, I think he, he's going to be in shape. I think he's a little bit more athletic. He is a five-time, he's a five-time UFC champion. He's got knockout power. Uh, and uh, look, he's going to, he's, I, I see it in him. He, he's going to be training hard for this. I think harder than Ben Askren by far. And so he's going to come in in good shape. So he might be able to take a couple more punches than Ben did. A lot, like h- hundreds of percentages. <laughs> I can't even do the math. Jake, wait. Man, you are or not? You're a crazy guy. You're a guy that's such a unique guy. Now you're fighting real fighters, like just like that. Yeah. What, what was the question? Sorry. Uh, you're right. There was no question. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you know, if you're a social media star, now you come over to fighting, and like boom, just like that, you're fighting, you know, top UFC guys. That's how it's going to take a lot of balls and a lot of dedication, though. No? A hundred percent. Like, but I love it. I'm passionate about it. And uh, look, we've been we've been working in the dark to shine in the light. I've been doing this for four years now, and I, I don't know. I just got God gave me power, speed, and I, I believe I was put on this earth to box. As crazy as that sounds, and I found my home. I found my calling, and I have the best team. I have the best coaches, and they don't let me do one single thing wrong in training and practice. BJ Flores, Jacob Chavez, Jaylion Love. D-Cut, Ebok, the whole entire team is just on 10. And so you need that. You need that. And a lot of these guys will, you know, hire some random coaches for their camps or switch up their coaches every three, four years to try and learn something new. 
we got a game plan. We stick to the fundamentals and we knock people out. Yeah, we have a tremendous outfit on right now. We have Mickey and Minnie here driving around, yeah. having a picnic, the a shoes, bag, the shoes, though. the shoes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. the watch, the Disney I'm watch. I'm assuming this is an ode to Tyron Cohen with a Disney star, and that's it. A hundred percent. I'm wearing Disney because he's gonna get knocked out by a Disney star. And look, Bizarre Vark, which is which is the Disney show that I was on, created the biggest prize fighter in the world. Jake Paul, and created the biggest musical star in the world, Olivia Rodrigo. So there was something in the air on that set, um, but I, I don't even know what happened, but it created two of the, two of the biggest stars in the world. Do you have the Well, I'm going for McGregor. I'm going for Mayweather. I'm going for all of these guys. I, I want Kamaru Usman, uh, Diaz. I, I got a long list, you know, but I'm not, I'm not looking past Tyrone at all. I, 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 have, I have to take him out. I have to take him out first. Is this and the, were other names? Uh, we heard maybe Michael Bisping was offered a That yeah. was prior to the Askren. Prior to Askren. Yeah, I mean, there, 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 there was a lot of names. It's like who, who was available. Uh, these guys are all owned by Dana White. So who is Dana White going to let out of his contract to, to get knocked out? Can you ask me, you've been outspoken about Dana White. What does it say that Tyrone is a champion, a former champion of the Michael Bisping going to make his biggest first fight in I think there's a movement uh, moving forward that is going to show that fighters should be getting paid more. It's unfair. The, the UFC fighters don't have fair pay. Out of all the sports, the percentage that the owners get versus the versus the athlete, they're the lowest. Francis Naganu versus John Jones. That fight should happen. Dana White, pay them the ten million. The, he, he's taking their money. They're the ones making the content. They're the ones getting in the ring, risking their life. Chris Me Weedman goes in, snaps his leg in half. What, what's that look like? He may never be able to fight again and provide food for his family. These fighters are risking their lives. You can quite literally die in the ring, and they need to be compensated more. And I'm, I'm a big proponent of that movement and being in control. It's just like music labels. Same thing. These artists are getting owned, and, and they get locked up into these shitty contracts, and they don't know what to do. So fuck that shit. Fuck Dana White. What does he say? You're the most outspoken person for UFC fighters. Because no one else, no one else can talk shit to Dana. Because he'll just sideline them, and then they're fucked. I'm the only one that doesn't that doesn't need Dana White in the fight world. Everyone else is scared of him. I don't give a fuck about him. Do you believe you'll see more UFC fighters fight out their contracts so they can fight you rather than fight the UFC? hundred percent. I think there's going to be a change in movement. We're, we're innovating the fight game, and you're starting to see that you know th this is a show business. Uh, and a lot of people like to focus just on the sport aspect of it, but it's all the way around. You're going to see fighters start to post content more. You're going to see fighters start to talk shit to people more. And, you know, this is just this is just the start of, uh, of something massive. And I'm, I'm excited to help lead the way. If your brother wins, do you right, still guys, want last Mayweather? Question, last question. If your brother wins Sunday, do you still want Floyd Mayweather? Nah, nah, nah. If he wins, he can stay in the trash. What do you think about the boxing? A lot of people made a lot of money betting you on a first round knockout against Aspen. Should they do the same? Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't know, not financial advice, but <laughs> bet, bet, bet the house. Like, like seriously, bet the house. You know what the odds are? That's financial advice. Nah, right? no, no, no. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. And make sure to subscribe for more videos of your favorite fighters over here on Fight Up TV. And give us a follow online as well at Fight Up TV, on Twitter, and on Instagram. We appreciate it, guys.